Hey folks, I'm Mike and I hate ads, but I love Inkvent and it is Inkvent time. Projects like this are funded by my patrons at patreon.com slash inkdependence. You can become a patron today or just subscribe to the channel. That's free. Hello folks, welcome to Inkdependence. I'm Mike and this is day 16 of the Diamine Inkvent. Oh, right here, right in the middle of the camera. Good, good job, Mike. Totally on purpose. Ooh, vintage copper. I can already tell I'm gonna like, oh, when it's shimmer. Copper and shimmer, you can see the shimmer down there. What if it's a copper with a copper shimmer? That would be cool. Let's give this a good shake. I'm gonna use the, I'm gonna use the big dip nib this time. This is uh, Lemmy's, oh, Ke sorry, Kemi's Labo. I got this from Shigur Inks. Check them out there. All right, so this is the thing with that really that really big uh, dip nib. It uh, really puts down a whole bunch of ink. So let's see what this ends up looking like when it dries. Let's give it a few minutes. Uh, see you right. See see you back right back here. Okay, so this is vintage copper, and that is a really nice looking ink. You see where I put down a ton of ink? It has turned uh, like very, almost brownish. But down here, it's still a little bit brown, but it's also kind of that like orangey copper color. And we do have, uh, I think it's a gold shimmer in here. Not a huge amount of gold shimmer, it seems, but there's definitely, definitely plenty there to go around. So uh, let's see what we have that's kind of close in the shimmers and then maybe I'll look at oranges or browns or something too. I found several of these uh, that are kind of close looking through three different sets. I went through uh, shimmers. So firstly, uh, here it is next to Brandy Dazzle, which uh, barely has any shimmer in it, actually. It's a nice enough ink, but it's more yellow and less, uh, less like that. And hardly even, hardly, you can see a little tiny bit of shimmer in there. Not much. Um, then this is my, uh, I think favorite shimmery brown aside from, uh, this year's Harvest Spice or whatever it was, uh, which is, uh, Pin BBS 235 Female Duck which is real nice, but also much more brown than uh, Vintage Copper is. Okay, so I don't have anything shimmery that's like that exactly. Uh, then we have Colorverse Tango, uh, which is uh, part of the Coloro 88 set from Colorverse, and I think it's kind of close. It's got some of the same tones over here, but it doesn't get, I don't think, as dark as this does. Then we've got uh, Krishna Goldfish, which uh, I'm surprised how close Krishna, Gold Krishna Goldfish is to this, but it's noticeably redder, I believe. Then Sailor's Red Brown, which uh, came from a cartridge. This is a little bit different from the Sailor Red Brown that came in bottles once upon a time, but it's in the same vein. This is an interesting color that straddles browns and oranges uh, both. So kind of, kind of in that space. Then lastly, for this little bit, Monteverde's Fire Opal, which is kind of close, but I think in the main it is darker than Vintage Copper and more red. Then, two last ones, Ackerman's number nine, which is Redstone. Uh, it's a little bit, I think this is browner. I think this is too brown really now that I'm looking at it right next to it. And lastly, I'm pretty sure this is kind of, I'm pretty sure this is a dupe. Or this is Copper Noir from Monteverde. Well, it can't be. It's Diamine. Anyway, it's very close to Copper Noir, but plus uh, Shimmer, which is that's pretty cool. I love Copper Noir. This is a gorgeous color from their Noir collection. So um, check, those, uh, check this one out if you don't want the Shimmer. Check out Vintage Copper if you do. All right, that's it. See you tomorrow for day 17. Peace out.